You might have heard the word persona before. Jung talks about the persona as something that does two things for you. One, it projects out uniform or signals a certain thing about you to your friends, your peers, and the world around you. So it, it's really important and we really can't live without them. The other thing that it does is it protects your kind of inner self and hides away things that you don't really want to share to other people. Persona is very useful in how we kind of get around society and how we deal with people at work and find partners and all sorts of great things. It can also go a little bit too far and a really common example of someone who is, their persona has sort of become or overtaken their whole being is someone who might seem maybe like a politician, for example, who is constantly in the public, wants to get across a certain image, perhaps wholesome or religious or strong on crime. And their mannerisms have become very predictable, forced, and even wooden to the point where you can't really figure out if there's actually like a human being in there anymore. That's not great and it's not natural. We also do the same thing with our bodies. We fashion our bodies to also project out a certain kinds of image. We're pretty limited in terms of what we can do with our bodies, but you'd be, you'd be surprised uh, in terms of the categories of fitness, the types of gyms that are available and the multitude of, you know, YouTube videos, Instagram accounts and personal trainers out there all saying different kinds of things that you can do with your bodies uh, to fashion a certain kind of, let's call them like a physical persona or a persona body. The persona, it's useful. It sends across a lot of valuable information, but there's a downside and a danger in just like a social persona where you can become wooden and forced and kind of forget who you really are. A persona body can also become a hindrance when you start obsessing over it too much, you overly identify with it, or you kind of become a kind of grotesque version of yourself. Professional bodybuilders especially have been known to have both physical breakdowns and mental breakdowns because they've taken their bodies off in such a different direction from what could be perceived as natural to win a bodybuilding competition or something like that. And in fact, there's a term in gyms called mirror muscles where because you're sitting in front of a mirror and you're looking at yourself, you're kind of what you look like in a mirror, you are fashioning that image in a certain way which can, can go really far. There's a danger to personas and there's a danger to physical personas. So how do you how do you deal with this problem? We all want to lose weight. We all know that fitness is good for us in terms of energy and longevity and stress reduction, all these great things. So definitely not saying don't go to the gym. One, take a step back from just put down the phone because we all know that we can get stuck on Instagram and TikTok and there's so much fitness content on there and so many bodies and great looking people who are probably gonna, we're gonna start comparing ourselves to and, and we're gonna get caught up in that. So if you can put, put that down occasionally. Number two, is there things that you can look at that really are hard to fake or really hard to be different than who you are? For example, um, I did once did like a kind of food allergy test as a company called Everlywell, which is kind of really interesting. You basically take a small blood sample and you get back all the types of food, like 200, 300 foods. And you can see which foods your body, you, like actually you are allergic to. It's kind of interesting because by looking at that, let's say I'm, you know, certain kinds of shellfish or certain kinds of nuts are just like really, my body, my genetics just is just not like, and I, I get a really strong reaction to. Listening to that is probably more accurate in terms of something that's gonna design what you're gonna eat rather than looking at Instagram or looking at men's health about the latest diet or the kind of things that this kind of cool person is eating. So that's one thing. And then lastly, I would just say, think about, for example, if you went into a coma for the next 20 years, you just weren't in your body for 20 years, what, what, what would you wish that whoever was in control of your body or whoever's kind of feeding your body in the hospital we're doing. Um, so that's just a way to kind of take your kind of thought process out of it and think about the kind of best thing for yourself.